Hey guys, what's going on? It's Miller here, coming to you with another background tutorial. What you're going to want to do is open up your Photoshop template. Today we're working with a partner template. And you're going to drag your rulers to the side of the template. If you don't know how to get your rulers, all you got to do is go to view. And make sure that rulers is ticked. Or you can hit control or, or command or on your keyboard to show the rulers. Next what you're going to want to do is remove the module layer in your layers tab. So you have no module showing. We're not going to be using any 3D text for this particular tutorial so you're going to start off by getting your text tool and just making a box around this big. Okay that's good and now you're going to go to fonts and I'm going to use this font called Rhodes Condensed. I have an underline on my text right now as standard so to untick that I'm going to go to character and make sure that this T is unticked and that will get rid of my underline. Now I'm going to start off by writing my text and for this background let's just write Miller. Next what you want to do is double click your text layer and go to gradient overlay and make sure it's the black to white gradient which is the standard gradient. Next thing you want to do is go to color overlay and make it white. Hit OK and take down the opacity until you can just see the silver coming through behind it. Next what you want to go gonna want to do is go to inner glow blend mode normal opacity 100% and make it from this yellowy color to complete white and take down the size a tiny bit and that just gives a nice outer glow around the outside on the bottom and the last thing you want to do with the text is go to outer glow change it from screen to normal opacity 100% this yellowy color to black and then you want to spread it now that you're happy with that what you want to do is hit Control J or Command J on your keyboard, copy the Miller text, your text layer, and just bring it slightly behind the original text layer. Then you want to fill that black, color overlay black, and get rid of the rest of your color, your layer styles. And make sure the opacity is at 100%. The next thing you want to do is copy out your original text layer and hide the layer so you have that saved in case you need it again then you want to take your two text layers which is your miller and the layer behind it which is giving it depth and you want to hide, hold control or command and left click both of the layers and hit control e which will make them one layer so now this is all one layer what you now want to do is go to edit transform distort and grab one of your corners and start to play around with it and make it look, make it into the perspective you're looking for. This I'm going to make it look like it's sitting back. Now what you want to do is hit Control J, which will copy that layer, bring that layer behind the original layer, double click that layer, go color overlay black, like we did before, and this time bring it to the right. It's only white, only going to the right for me, that's it there. It's only going to the right for me because that's the particular shadow direction I'm going for. Now what you want to do is create a new layer by hitting Command or Control, Shift and N. Then hitting Enter, which will create a new layer. You want to, on this new layer, you want to make sure your palette is white. And go to Gradient, and then click this circle here. Which, and then make sure the white is a, the white color is chosen. Um, then you want to get your gradient tool and just draw a circle about that big, maybe a bit smaller, about that big. Change the layer style to overlay and take down the opacity a tiny bit. Which now makes it look like there's a, there's a light on the text. And I'm going to add in some more lights, so I'm going to hit Control shift n and add some more little lights. Like so, around it. Now what you want to do is do the same thing again, make a new layer, as I said, as I showed you. Get your rectangular marquee tool and draw just a box about this size. Go to your gradient and change it to the the linear gradient. And make sure your white is also selected. Hold shift on your keyboard and simply draw a shape like this. Hit control or command D to deselect that layer and then hit control T to, to transform. I'm going to make sure this slide is online with my M here and I'm going to just hit control or command J and copy this out 
I'm now going to merge all of these layers, hold, click the top layer, hold shift and then left click the bottom layer, then hit command or control E to merge all of the layers together. Change the blend mode of this layer to overlay. Then hit control J and hit control F to flip it. It's only control F to flip it for me because I set it as a hotkey. To set it as a hotkey what you want to do is go to edit, go to keyboards shortcuts and then if for this to change the transform flip horizontal to control F just go to edit transform flip horizontal and it's already set to control F as I showed you so if you wanted to change flip vertical to control T just click this hit control T hold control T on your keyboard control T is already in use and will be removed from edit free transform if accepted um, yeah that can fix with free transform so I don't want to do that but you get the idea I'm going to hit, hit cancel uh, that's a bit intense on the crossover so I'm going to take it down a lot I might even get rid of the crossover because I don't like it I think that one looks better something slight now what you want to do is go to your bottom layer hit this circle that's half black half white and go to pattern I have a pattern down here which is a very slight liney pattern as you can see there very very faintly then hit ok on your pattern layer hit control or command J which copies the pattern and you want to bring it up over your text layer like so then you want to right click the pattern layer and go to convert to smart object which will then leave it rasterizable you want to then hit right click and rasterize layer so now the layer is completely rasterized then you want to, what you want to do is get your eraser tool and make sure the size is about 150px hardness 0% and just draw an erase over the center line which leaves this pattern underneath it going as you can see just over the text on the side next thing I'm going to do is drop in my logo this is a 3d version of my logo so I'm going to size it down once you're happy with your size hit the tick and instead of spending ages trying to get the same layer style that this text has I'm simply going to go to that Miller text which I have copied from earlier on, this one here I'm going to go to right click on that layer style and go to copy layer style then I'm going to go down to my logo and go right click over the logo layer paste layer style and there's the layer style now my logo has the same layer style as the Miller text I'm going to size it down a little bit now I'm going to do the same thing as I did with my Miller text and I'm going to go to edit, transform, distort and I'm going to distort it back so it looks like it's on a fall, it's falling to the right side. Make sure these lines are on line with these lines. This line, this bottom transform line and the bottom of the text. That way you'll know it's on the same slant. Once you're happy with that, hit Ctrl J on that text. Bring it behind that original logo and I'm going to do the same thing I did with my Miller text and I'm going to just make it a complete black overlay so color, untick all of the other blend modes and go to black hit OK and make sure the opacity is 100% then I'm going to bring this layer this is a separate layer I'm going to bring this layer to the right side of the logo and now it looks like my logo is 3D'd and Cinema 4D didn't even come to the equation obviously it's not the same kind of 3D um, effect but it still looks quite nice I want to add in a grungy effect over my text to do so go file and place and simply find the texture you're looking for once you've found the texture you want simply bring it in and map it over roughly over the size of your text and hit tick the box then find your Miller text layer or your text layer even that you're using which is here hold control and left click the picture of the image which will select the whole the whole uh, layer for you automatically and um, then what you want to do is bring back up your texture layer which it should be over this text which should be over your text layer hit command or control shift I which will invert the selection and then hit delete which will delete everything around the text if you want you can do a 3D again and bring it to the left and do whatever but I'm simply going to 
flick down through my blending options by going to blending options and tapping down on the arrow on my keyboard in front of me until I get something I like which is something like that color dodge something very slight but I think overlay looks better and cleaner so now that you've got your grungy effect I'm gonna add in a light behind the text to brighten things up a bit simply drop in the light you have found and chosen size it down to your liking and I'm gonna put it behind behind the text and logo I'm then gonna get my eraser tool and roughly erase the edges so there's no tight edges no solid sharp edges and then I'm gonna change the blend mode to screen which will lighten things up a little bit change the blend mode of your light to color color dodge and hit control J which will duplicate it and simply sp spot it around and bring it over your text layer and drop it around and copy it around a few places until you're happy got to drop in another light size it down to your liking hit the tick change the blend mode to screen and as we did before get rid of your solid edges make sure you rasterize your layer before you try and do so the final thing I want to do is change the background color from the gray I have to completely solid black maybe a little bit lighter than that I want to bring in this grungy texture which I have here in the background I'm going to change the blend mode of this layer to overlay so it's simply a slight grungy effect in the background and then we're going to go to the top of all of my layers I'm going to go to this black and white circle down the bottom here again I'm going to go to gradient map and map it with a suitable color and flick down through my blending options until I'm happy with the effect given.